Hey y'all, welcome to Yellow Texas, your go-to guide to everything great about the Lone Star State. I'm your host AC and on today's episode, we are taking you to Bernie to check out a blast from the past that's host to its own car show and to Floresville to check out their annual Freedom Fest. But first up, we are always getting suggestions of places we need to check out and there's one town that's been getting a ton of requests and it might have something to do with one of Texas's most famous families. So we sent our Yellow Texas team members Ariel to the wonderful city of Waco to see what all the buzz was about. Welcome to Waco. This city of 130,000 Texans has been making a name all on its own thanks in large part to a little TV show that has turned home renovations and the city of Waco into a cultural phenomenon. And that is, of course, Chip and Joanna Gaines of HGTV's Fixer Upper, but that's not all that this beautiful city has to offer. To give us a better idea of what makes this city so unique, I met up with Carla Pendergraft, Director of Marketing with the Town of Waco. Waco is just such a great place. It's a small town still with not a lot of traffic, but it has so many amenities and attractions like a big city would have. So we have a very busy schedule today. Oh, yes. What are the must-sees here in the city? We're definitely we're going to see the Titanic exhibit at the Mayborn Museum. You're going to have a behind-the-scenes tour of the zoo, but there's so much beyond that and so many other things. The Waco Mammoth National Monument, Texas Ranger Museum. You just got to come and experience it all. I also have to ask, how have Chip and Joanna Gaines affected the city of Waco? People may be surprised to know that we get more visitors to Magnolia Market than the Alamo. Wow. So they're at about 1.6, 1.7 million visitors a year, about 30,000 a week. We think that Magnolia Market really reflects the Waco character, that home loving and welcoming people. That's what Waco is all about. So I think Magnolia reflects Waco and Waco reflects Magnolia. And there's also something really special there, right? The bakery is so irresistible. Okay, so you ready to go eat a cupcake? Let's go. All right, let's go. <laughs> Originally a historic cottonseed mill, the silos have been transformed into a retail destination for locals and visitors alike. I'm super excited. This place is incredibly cute. Yes, and full of energy and magic. Mm, yeah. So which one's your favorite cupcake? I think the ship lab. It doesn't taste like Doesn't it like <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Hey. So good. That is so delicious. Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. This was amazing. As much as I would have loved to spend the rest of the day eating cupcakes, there was so much more to see and do around the city of Waco. So we left the silos and Magnolia Bakery behind and headed over to one of the other cultural institutions that helped put Waco on the map, Baylor University. Okay, so we've been to Baylor before to check out the college football scene. Obviously, it's known as one of the best stadiums to catch a game in the state of Texas. What you may not know is that it's home to a world-class history museum, the Mayborn. Inside, you'll find hands-on discovery rooms and interactive natural science and cultural history galleries offering an engaging learning opportunity for learners and visitors of all ages. To learn more about the museum, I met up with marketing director Rebecca Tucker Nall. Uh, we have something for everyone and enough to spend the entire day. We celebrate the natural and cultural history of this area. We um, bring traveling exhibits to the museum so everyone can have you know, a little varied experience whenever they come. So right now we're hosting Titanic the Artifact Exhibition. Everyone who goes into the exhibit gets a boarding pass that represents a passenger that was actually on board the ship. So you can kind of let that color your experience. I'm incredibly excited. Are you ready to go show me around? Yeah, okay. let's go. Perfect. Good afternoon, Ms. Strauss. Here's your boarding oh, pass. thank you. All aboard. I am Mrs. Isidore Strauss. I'm 63 years of age, <laughs> and we are riding first class on the Titanic today. If you were traveling first class, class which you are. were, <laughs> um, this is maybe what your room would have looked Look like. like. So now we're checking out the third class stateroom, so you can kind of compare to yes. the first class. Like. This is what Jack was in, correct? Exactly. <laughs> this is a you know, representation of an iceberg. So can we touch it? Yeah, you can touch it. Um, and it really gives you a sense of how cold the water was that night. Salt water freezes at a lower temperature, so the water would have actually been a couple of degrees colder. Strauss, that would be me, correct? Yes. Yeah. 
So yeah, so you see um, Ida Strauss um, and Ida and Isidore Strauss were um, actually the owners of Macy's department store and they were lost that day. The Titanic exhibit is just the beginning of all that the Mayborn has to offer, but with our day in Waco running out of time, there was one more stop we had to make. And that's here at the Cameron Park Zoo. We were told you can't visit Waco without making a stop here, so let's check it out. To tell me about their newest additions, I met up with Terry here at the Cameron Park Zoo. Right now we have a couple of babies and babies are always very popular and probably the most popular right now is Razak who is our baby orangutan. He is about 17 months old now. Uh, we also have Ray, uh, an African lion. Her mother is Princess Leia and Ray was born in October of this past year. She is growing very fast and uh, very rambunctious. I'm so excited. Do you mind showing me around? I would love to do that. You're going to fall, fall in love. Okay, I'm, sure. I'm, I'm prepared. <laughs> All right. Can y'all say YOLO? Hey, I got him to look over. <laughs> she doesn't look like a baby. <laughs> He's like a little adorable baby human. Can I be like you? Can I be like you? I'll be like Rizak right now. <laughs> From its welcoming people to its delicious cupcakes, Waco is the place to be. Whether you're into renovations, retail, history, or adorable creatures, this city really has something for everyone. I've got to get back to the studio, but we'll see y'all when we get back. Planning your own visit to Waco? Get more ideas of places to check out at WacoHeartOfTexas.com.